Now, tonight's big story. Early voting gain, keeps gaining momentum in Sarpy and Douglas counties, and it could lead to a roller coaster night for candidates and issues November 4th. Democrats and the minimum wage backer, backers bringing in early votes, while Republicans hope you'll cast a ballot that day. KATV TV News Watch Evans, Adrian Witsit joins us live. And Rob, to be perfectly clear, both sides want your vote. They just have two different approaches to get you to the polls. Either an early surge or a last minute push, the choice ultimately comes down to you. To help Nebraskans Opponents of raising Nebraska's minimum wage speak out at a Wednesday public meeting. Unfortunately, the experience of other states has demonstrated that minimum wage increases do not achieve the promises proponents make for economic stimulus. Those pushing for it, like State Senator Jeremy Nordquist, may have an early voting lead. It's about getting as many votes in before Election Day as possible and then spending the last weekend or so before Election Day trying to get all the people who haven't voted yet uh, to come out on Tuesday. Nordquist says working with the North Omaha Voter Project to give out rides and sending these prepaid registration cards boosts their chance. We're making a push uh, at the doors. We've made uh, mailings with the vote by mail application. We've seen many more people uh, on the Democrat side vote than the Republican side by mail. Nearly three to one in Douglas County and two to one in Sarpy. The uh, early voting numbers, they're disappointing but not surprising. Douglas County Republican Chairman Brian Baumgart says the $1.2 million raised so far to push the minimum wage puts them behind. As Republicans, we don't have that kind of money to throw at um, getting our voters to show up early and vote, and so. Um, we're, we're doing what we can. That means a strategy of education, a slate of voters so people know who to pencil in, hoping previous trends that show Republicans show up at the polls stay true. I have a good feeling it's going to turn out well for us. Both Sarpy and Douglas County's election commissioners say the early voting trend is one they have seen grow in the last few election cycles. And you know, just because more of one party has requested or sent in ballots, we obviously still don't know exactly who or what they voted for. Back to you. All right, Adrian, thanks. I want to take you back.